I'd like to introduce our second speaker tonight. He's going to be speaking from the presentation Mastery Path. This is level two. The project is Effective Body Language. The length of the speech is seven to nine minutes, and the title of his speech is 12 Powers and Healing. Please welcome Dr. Raj Party. Thank you. So, good evening. Fellow Toastmasters, many of you know that I had a near death experience 10 years ago. You know, I was in surgery, septic, and I had died. And that near death experience changed my life forever. I was chief of anesthesia at Bakersfield Heart Hospital. I was in curing people of diseases, but then I got the instructions to be a healer, to be a consciousness based healer, but I didn't get the instructions what they were. But when I woke up and left my materialistic lifestyle behind, I used to drive a Hummer. Can you believe it? <laughs> I sold my Hummer and bought a Camry, hybrid Camry. My life literally and figuratively went from Hummer to hybrid. <laughs> so for last 10 years, I was trying to find out what conscious based healing is. And through different visions or, you know, insights or downloads, whatever you want to call it, I came to follow Jesus. I even got baptized and I got baptized in the ocean and I don't know how to swim. There were two people in front of me, two people behind me in case I float away. You know, Jesus got baptized in Jordan River. So it was a very good baptism. <laughs> but I was not able to sync with the traditional Christianity. So I found metaphysical Christianity, which don't take the each uh, thing in the Bible literally, but they look at the deeper meaning behind it. What was Christ saying? What was the meaning of parable? You know, like my favorite parable is the uh, parable of the sower. You know, like when the seeds are falling, it depends on what gro ground they fall. You know, if they fall on a fertile ground, they germinate and become plants. If they fall on stones or, you know, dry land, they germinate and then they die. So what I learned from that, that the God's grace <laughs> is always there, but we have to prepare the soil. Or other way, I learned the wind of God's grace is always flowing. We who have to put up our masks, you know, so say so with this metaphysical uh, Christianity, there was one guy, Charles Fillmore, and he founded the unity movement. And in unity movement, they talk about 12 powers of consciousness, 12 abilities, 12 uh, aspects, whatever you want to call them, they are abilities of consciousness. And I have given a handout where I have listed them. And they are in different parts of the body. Just like chakra system, they are situated in different parts of the body. For example, faith is the ability to believe with confidence it is located in the pineal gland. Strength, ability to endure, be resilient and preserve, located in the small of the back right here. And love, ability to attract, desire, and harmonize list behind the heart. Imagination is listed to visualize at the third eye. Dominion, ability to claim mastery and control is at the throat or base of the tongue. Understanding, ability to comprehend, interpret what you know in the front brain. And discernment, ability to evaluate, judge, 
solar plexus. And will, ability to choose to act, the executive power is located in the center of the front brain. Order, which is very important, ability to organize, prioritize, and adjust, located in the back of the navel. Release, the ability to discard, let go, located in the lower intestine. And zeal, the ability to be passionate, be enthusiastic, located in brainstem. And finally, life, ability to enliven, make whole, vitalize, located in the reproductive center. Now, these powers can be used to heal body, mind, and soul. I'll give you one example how I use these powers to heal my relationship. I have been married 35 years, but it is not always smooth. My book came out in 2012 dying to wake up and I got very busy promoting it, traveling all around the country, giving speeches and doing workshops. But in that, I neglected my wife. One day my wife tells me she doesn't love me anymore. I was shocked. I felt a dagger to my heart. But then rain or shine, I decided I am going to repair my marriage. I had used the power of faith to realize and have a conviction that I will be able to do it. Then I used the power of imagination as from the third eye, how would my relationship will look like my wife, with my wife. I even made a vision board with traveling, holding hands, getting old together. This is what I want. And finally, I use the power of love. Love is unconditional. Love knows no boundaries. Love makes mountains move. It is even said, God is love, love is God. And if you're in love, you're in God. So that I use love. And then I use the power of release. Release is very important because you let go of any old things. You cannot have new things until unless you unclog the pipes. Just imagine if you have a mental constipation, you don't let go of your old thoughts. So you need to let the new thoughts come in. With these things, these main powers, I repaired my relationship. Now I have a beautiful relationship, the best it has been in 35 years of marriage. And I thank God for that. And with this conscious based healing, I used to smoke. I quit smoking also. That's a different story, you know, I can tell later. So my passion for conscious based medicine has grown by my personal experience. And my own goal in life has been, I heal myself by helping the other heal. And from a previous profession, I used to put people to sleep. Now I wake them up. <laughs> Thank you. That's great.